Kamal is a marine biologist doing research in the Chesapeake Bay. He's testing a new camera drone that flies in the air and dives under the water. He pilots the drone by typing in the coordinates of the location he wants to explore. In order to identify different locations, we draw a horizontal line called the x-axis and a vertical line called the y-axis. Each tick mark on each axis represents 10 meters of distance from the boat. We could have scaled the axes by one meter, but then our graph would be too cluttered. Kamal's boat is at the intersection of the x and y axis. This point is called the origin. It's where we start our drone and where we start when we graph points. Kamal spots movement with his radar at the point 5070. 50 is the x coordinate of the point, 70 is the y coordinate. From the origin, his drone must fly 50 meters horizontally and then 70 vertically to arrive at this point. It's a cormorant. We'll label this point C, 50, 70. The drone takes a photo, then returns to the origin. We can record our data in a table showing the X and Y coordinates, the label, and the animal observed at that location. What are the coordinates of the origin? The origin has the coordinates 0, 0, because if we are at that point, we don't move in the X or Y direction. We'll call the origin point O and add it to our table. Kamal spots movement at another point, 0, 90. What do those coordinates mean? Does the drone need to move horizontally? No, the X coordinate is 0. Does the drone need to move vertically? Yes, 90 meters, it's a pelican. The drone takes another picture, then returns to the origin. We'll add the point 090 to our table. Suddenly Kamal's radar shows movement at the coordinates 30, negative 80. The drone quickly moves 30 meters horizontally and then pauses. Positive Y values mean we move up vertically, but what does negative 80 mean? We move down vertically. The drone dives under the water until it's at the point 30, negative 80 and takes a great picture of a sailfish. We'll call this location point S and add the data to our table. Kamal's radar spots something surfacing nearby. It's at the point negative 40, zero. A positive X value means we move to the right. What does a negative X value mean? We move to the left. The drone arrives at negative 40 on the X axis. The Y coordinate of zero means we don't move vertically. Ah, here it is, a whale. The drone snaps a picture and returns to the boat. Whoa, Kamal doesn't need a radar to see that there's a giant albatross right here. Can you read the coordinates from the graph? Here's the X value, directly below the albatross, negative 80. Here's the Y value, directly across, 30. So the albatross is at the point, negative 80, 30. The drone moves negative 80 horizontally, and 30 vertically to arrive at the albatross and takes a picture. While the drone is hovering there, Kamal's radar spots movement at the point negative 80, negative 40. He doesn't want the drone to return this time. Let's graph the point negative 80, negative 40. How far would the drone have to move to go from negative 80, 30 to negative 80, negative 40? Will the drone have to move horizontally? No, it's already at an X value of negative 80. Will it have to move vertically? Yes, from positive 30 to negative 40. How many meters is that? From positive 30 to negative 40 is a 70 meter drop. It's a great white shark. In summary, points in a two-dimensional plane are locations described by an X coordinate and a Y coordinate. Positive X values are to the right of the origin. Negative X values are to the left. Positive Y values are above the origin, while negative Y values are below. A coordinate axes and points with X and Y coordinates can help us visualize locations in the world and a lot more. Graphing is an essential tool for understanding and visualizing math.